Hi everyone, it's Lonnie, and today I am making the first of a specific kind of journal for myself. It's, I'm calling it a topical journal. To me, that means it's going to be fairly narrow in the spine, and I'm making it a little smaller than my usual go-to size which is basically an eight and a half and 11 or eight and a half by 11 folded in half. So this is an eight and a half by 11. So my normal size is about that plus the size of the cover. This one is about an inch off on both sides. So it will be seven and a half by 10. And the reason I'm doing that is for um, my next Bible adventure, and that is to go through some topics that I wanted to know more about, or maybe I want to give away something on a specific topic. Um, for example, the first topic I'm thinking of is salvation and eternal life. And so I was thinking that would be a great gift for someone who's kind of on the verge of um, becoming a Christian and they want to know more about it. So I was thinking of that. And two, it's good to familiarize ourselves more with the specific verses on how one actually gets saved and why they would want to get saved. So I'm thinking that that is a great first topical journal for myself. And if you want to join me, I invite you to do so. Today I'm just going to make the cover and I'll see how long a video that is. So that might just be part one. Um, so yeah, first I'm going to, I picked a box. And that's how I determined my size for the papers, because I measured the box. And uh, now I just got to trim the, the edges. So I will do that and I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back and I have been wanting to use these stuffing boxes for a while. And I just thought they were a little bit small for my usual and so I've been um, keeping them, trying to think, okay, so what could I do with them? And because they're so bright, I'm thinking I might need to cover it twice. I'm not sure. I was thinking of um, doing the outside with this. This, I know, I'm sorry, it's bright because I did not coffee diet. This is freezer paper with a napkin on it. So I wanted to do this for the cover. So I was thinking I might have to fold this the other way to get that to be the outside. And it is big enough. It would, it would do it. Um, I'm just going to trim the outside of this. So I don't really think that's directional, so I'm just not going to worry about it. Then I'm going to put this on here. A little wider that way so that's good I'll keep that and I'm gonna trim it down just a bit more I always use strips somewhere else and then I was thinking I might need to do something with the inside to dull it down. I have some 
packaging paper. I think that would be okay. Can't, I don't think I can see through that, so I'll probably put that on the inside this time. Next time I might put it on the outside. I just want to see roughly what this would look like. I'll probably end up either spattering on it or dirtying it up somehow, make it a little bit crunchy. But I have not figured that out yet. So first things first, I'm going to do the cover on the outside so i'm just gonna wrap that somehow um for glue i think i am going to use my two-sided i've got my two-sided tape here it's one inch i think i'm just gonna do that to me this is more of a what I would call a temporary journal in the sense that it's not going to have the same wear and tear necessarily that another journal might have. I mean, it would be nice if I was wrong, but that's what I'm thinking at the moment. I also think that I won't put so many pages in this one because the spine is smaller. Okay, so I just have to peel all the tape backing off. Actually, what I should do first is to take my bone folder Sure, that's actually stuck on there. Okay. I think first I'm going to do the ends to make sure I have enough. Or should I do the corners first? I was thinking I would do the corners just like so sometimes I think that's a little more um, a bit more of a sure thing than um, what do you call it cutting them off because sometimes they tend to stick through stick out Go through. There you go. All right. So then I'll do this part.
Yeah, so I did the freezer paper and the napkin thing, and I'm like, okay, so what am I going to do with it now? So sometimes it's nice to have things on hand that you make in advance, and then you wait for a project to come into mind. I guess that's how I like to roll. All right, so just... Um, Trying to bend it a little bit here. I think that will be okay. So then I need a piece. So I need it about 11 inches wide. And seven inches wide. So seven by eleven. Okay, roughly. Roughly good enough. this down and spread it out from the middle. I did not iron this paper, so I'm not really expecting it to be super flat. I could have put more double-sided tape down. That may have been a good idea. That's really bright. Quite sure how I'm going to make that more dull, but I'll keep thinking about it. All right, so I need some glue. I'm thinking either one or two signatures, maybe two, but not as many papers as I usually do. I 
And I guess this whole thing would depend on um, how big or extensive the topic is. If it was just a very small topic, you could probably get away with a, a softer spine, softer cover. also wanted this to be a fairly quick project because I want to get going on the inside and I didn't want to take a lot of time to do the cover. But sometimes a simple cover can be nice too. So. Okay, so that, I'm just going to train that a bit more, and on this side. And then I'll let the glue dry, I guess, so it stops puckering. And then when it's dry, I'll come back and do the, how about we say, that's the cover. And then next time, I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do to make it not so white. And then next time we will start on the inside. How about that? All right. Thanks for stopping by and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye for now.